Okay, in vi this video 3, we will continue with one more question. This one is December 2019, question 3A. December 2019, question 3A. Adudu Berhad anticipates having USD 600,000 ringgit export receivable in one year's time. The financial manager is concerned on the currency fluctuation risk. So, in order to reduce the risk, the following information was provided by their bank. Okay, so as we can see, given to you, given to us, the spot rate, okay, ringgit per USD, okay. So, I do do this syarikat Malaysia lah eh. Uh, akan dapat bayaran from US company, 600,000 USD. So, one year forward given to you. Tapi, dia cakap macam mana? Dia tak bagi rate, dia kata, dia kata Malaysia, uh, Malaysia, ring, Malaysia ringgit uh, is, uh, is going to appreciate by 0.3%. Duit kita akan jadi mahal. Maksudnya jumlah ni akan nampak lebih kecil lah. Sebab apa? Appreciate. Given to us also the one year borrowing rate and one year deposit rate for both country Malaysia and US. And two options given to us, put and call. So since this is receivable, uh, option yang ada kaitan dengan kita cuma put lah. Okay. Determine the revenue in ringgit. If adu to berhad hedges in money market, forward market and option, contract to cover this transaction. So just then finally justify the best hedging technique for adu to berhad. So we will calculate first. Uh, even though the question asks you to calculate the money market hedge first, but it's okay kalau you nak start dengan forward dulu. So normally I will start with forward first because it is the easiest one. Okay. So saying it is receivable contract so we will we are going to sell the receivable so bank will buy uh, the currency later so when when bank buys the bank will use bid rate okay so we will take the spot bid rate however as i told you just now as we can see in the question all right one year forward ringgit one year forward ringgit per usd given to us in form of how many percent the malaysian ringgit will appreciate 0.3 so nak kira berapa ring, nilai ringgit after one year the forward rate okay so we will we will take the spot bid rate times with 1 minus 0.03 why minus because appreciate appreciate kita kena tolak ah sebab nilai tu patut nampak lebih kecil kalau depreciate kita akan 1 plus 0.03 so be careful with that so in this case we will minus because our currency will be uh, more high in value akan lebih mahal so, jadi berapa kita punya bid forward rate? Uh, ringgit measure 3.0972. So, we will time with the value of the receivable. Maka kita akan dapat the amount we will get by using forward contract after one year will be 1.858 million. Lebih kurang. If you use option contract, so we will use put option. So, uh, how uh, to calculate the value of the receivable receivable times exercise price minus the premium again why we have to minus the premium the premium is the cost to purchase the option okay so selling price ni exercise price tolak dulu cost beli option so the amount the value of receivable we will get by using option contract will be 1.834 ringgit okay and then Money market hedge, okay, as we learned, as you have learned before in our last like uh, our last video, okay, video number two, for money market hedge, in the case of account receivable, alright, you are the exporter, what will you do in the money market in order to hedge the account receivable, we will do the borrowing, we will do the borrowing in the foreign currency and then the amount of foreign currency that we borrow, we will invest in home currency or home country so first step we have to determine the amount to borrow in foreign country so in this case there are so many interest rates given to us since we are going to borrow in foreign country kita akan guna rate dekat foreign country united states dah ada dua pula rate yang dia bagi borrowing and deposit so kita ambil borrowing rate lah so bahagikan dengan so usd 600,000 divide with 1.09 so the amount you need to borrow in foreign country will be 550 Four, uh, four, five, eight point seven two. Okay. Then we will prepare the table. Okay, we borrow in foreign country, foreign currency, five five zero four five eight point seven two at nine percent. And then after we receive the money, all right, the foreign currency, the foreign money, we will convert into ringgit because we want to invest the money in Malaysia at five percent. So bila kita convert, kita akan convert pada 
uh, bit rate lah eh. Ha, sebab kita akan jual USD tu. Bila kita jual, bank beli, bank akan guna bit. So, the amount uh, of the USD in ringgit will be 1.710 million. Okay. Then, the amount of money kita invest in Malaysia. Plus minus tu nak tunjuk inflow and out outflow. Okay. Kenapa kat sini dia jadi negatif? Sebab kita dah invest duit tu. So, after one year, what will happen? The amount of investment Okay, that we made in Malaysia one year before, kita akan dapat pulangan pada per, pada berapa persen? Pada 5%. So, 1.710 million times with 1.05. So, this is the amount of investment that we are going to get. Inilah duit yang kita akan dapat. Dalam masa yang sama, selepas setahun kita akan dapat apa? account receivable tu. Alright, bayar-bayar kat kita sebab kita exporter kan. Tapi, the receivable yang kita dapat tu, kita akan guna untuk bayar pinjaman. Pinjaman pula pinjaman pinjaman kita pula ngam-ngam je value sama banyak dengan account receivable memang akan sama banyak sebab kita guna pada interest rate yang sama. Okay, we have determined the amount to borrow by using the same amount of interest rate. Ha, okay, that's why bila kita bayar interest campur dengan principal dia akan jadi 600,000. So the account receivable is no longer exist is no longer available because we use the account receivable to pay the uh, loan that we Uh, made one year before in uh, United States. So, amount yang ada dengan kita sekarang adalah daripada pelaburan 1.795. So, after we compare, okay, kebetulan sebenarnya ada juga soalan lain yang memang uh, kadang-kadang option pilihan kita, kadang-kadang money market pilihan kita. Tapi for the past two question that we have done, soalan nombor satu dan juga soalan ni, memang kita nampak forward market can give us the can give the company the higher value of Uh, inflow or income after one year. So, we will choose forward contract. Okay, so we have done with uh, second exercise for account receivable. We will proceed with uh, account payable pula. Kalau kita pula sebagai uh, buyer, uh, kita nak minimiskan jumlah yang kita nak kena bayar. Ingat ni, kalau receivable ni, kita nak dapat duit, kita nak maximiskan the amount of money we will get. So, in this case, Uh, after this, when we do payables, kita nak minimiskan pula the amount of money that we need to pay. So, see you in the, our next video.